In CA level 2 organic chemistry, let's talk about haloalkanes. Haloalkanes are all organic molecules which contain at least one halogen atom. Here are two examples. Halogen atoms are pretty much your group 17, al group 17 elements. To name a haloalkane, you first have to know how to name alkanes. So that's the bit here in orange. That part's propane in the first example. In the second one, it's pentane. Now in this first example, I had a Cl on the first carbon atom. So the Cl corresponds to chloro. First carbon atom, I put a one in front, so one chloropropane. In the second example, I have two bromines. So that corresponds to bromo. To show that it's got two bromines, I put di in front. So it's dibromopentane. And those are at positions two and three on that chain. So it's two, three dibromopentane. Now, if you can't get the part of the name in orange, go back and watch the alkanes video on how to do that. Now, haloalkanes can react with concentrated ammonia to form an amine. I'm highlighting the three and the two here because that's not a mistake. This type of reaction is called a substitution reaction because in a substitution reaction, you have an atom or a group of atoms and you're replacing it with a different atom or a different group of atoms. So all I'm doing here is I could take any haloalkane, react it with concentrated NH3, and all I'm doing is I'm replacing the Cl with an NH2. Another example, I don't care about the size and shape of that molecule. I'm going to zoom in and look straight for the halogen on that, on that particular molecule, reacting it with concentrated ammonia, and all I do is I swap the fluorine in this case out with an NH2. Now, if you do make a mistake, it will literally be because you've put a 2 here instead of a NH2. Haloalkanes will also react with aqueous hydroxide solution. So we're talking, for example, sodium hydroxide solution, which is aqueous, potassium hydroxide solution, which is also aqueous. The AQ is really important. Don't think you can get away with it if you don't specify that it's got AQ or something else. So here's an example. Take a haloalkane, react it with a aqueous solution of hydroxide. It's a substitution reaction again because all I'm doing is I'm taking the halogen atom, in this case it's chlorine, and I'm swapping it out, I'm substituting it, I'm replacing it with an OH. Here's a different example. Go straight for the halogen, replace it with an OH. Now the stuff in brackets was really important before because haloalkanes will react differently if you use something called an alcoholic solution. Now some examples of that were the same as before. Sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, just put ALC in brackets or alcoholic or sometimes you might see it as ethanolic. You can rewind this video um, to check out that these reactions are actually different in alcoholic and aqueous situations. When you do use your hydroxide and alcoholic conditions, it's called an elimination reaction because in an elimination reaction, all I'm doing is I'm taking two atoms or groups of atoms across a carbon to carbon single bond. I'm kicking them out and I'm replacing it with a carbon to carbon double bond. So here I'm going to pick on my fluorine atom and I'm going to choose to kick out a neighboring hydrogen atom off the neighboring carbon atom. So once the F and the H are kicked out, that forms HF. And all I'm left with is an empty space here. And to make sure that every carbon atom still has four bonds, I must have a double bond there. 